Good morning everyone. Today our topic in research methodology is report writing. This is very important aspect of any research that know how how good your research is until or unless it is drafted in a very good report format. Writing the research report, the purpose of the written report is to present the result of your research but more importantly to provide a persuasive argument to readers of what you have found during your research. Now let us look at the report structure. Report structure is having different different layers as we can compare to a hamburger that a report structure starts with abstract introduction, a method that used for re doing research, the result of the research and discussion or conclusion of your research project and the references. Now a method can include a participant's design apparatus or procedure. Component of an empirical research paper in economics is it contains first is the title of your research topic, abstract table of contents, introduction and literature survey, a theoretical analysis, empirical testing, conclusion and last but not the least is references that you have used during your research. Now the introduction part is the purpose of the introduction is to the research report to provide the rationale of the research that why you are you have done the particular research on particular topic. What is the nature of the issue or problem the research investigates and why is this worthy of investigation? What have previous researcher discovered about the issue or problem or what does your research attempt to prove? Written literature review. A literature review is a summary of the major studies that have been published on a research topic that you are working on. Literature review is usually included as part of the introduction in research paper. Most frequently asked question that the student frequently ask how many sources should be included in the literature survey. Now, what do you think the answer should be? It depends on how many major studies have been completed on the topic that you are doing research. If you only report one or two sources, readers may suspect that you have not put enough efforts into searching the literature. You don't want to miss a major studies since at best it will make you look careless at worst it may weaken the rationale for your research. What a literature survey is not a list of potential sources of information about your topic, a list of sources that you reviewed or even a list of summaries of the sources you reviewed. A theoretical analysis, the purpose of this part of research is to present the theoretical framework of the issue or problem you are investigating. This is also described as presenting your theoretical model of research. Empirical testing of the analysis, the purpose of this empirical testing part of the research project is to provide the empirical evidence for a research argument. The theme of this section of the paper can be summarized as given your hypothesis, how did you test it and what were your findings. This section should include the data used, the empirical model and type of statistical analysis you employed, the result you hypothesized the actual result and your interpretation of the result. Now the conclusion part consists of the purpose of this part is to summarize your findings out of the research that is to restate your argument and conclude whether or not it is valid 
in light of the statistical details what you can infer about your hypothesis to what extent did your empirical testing confirm your analysis thank you